Today in our 2014 Ford Edge, we'll be having a look at and installing the DrawType Class 3 Max Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75992. All right, here's what our hitch looks like installed. As you can see, the only part of our hitch that's visible underneath our vehicle is our actual Class 3 2-inch receiver itself. The rest of our hitch, the frame of it, is hidden behind our rear fascia. Now on the side of our hitch, you'll find two holes. The larger one closest to the front of our vehicle is our industry standard 5 8 of an inch hitch pin hole that we can use a pin or a locking device to secure any of our hitch mounted accessories. Closer to the rear of the hitch, we have our J-pin stabilization device hole. We have J-pin stabilization devices available on our website. What they do is take away some of the annoying shake, play, and rattle out of what's inserted into your receiver if your device doesn't already have an anti-rattle device built into it. Some bike rack and cargo carriers do. Now on the end of our receiver, you'll find this nice collar that's welded onto it, helps strengthen the receiver up a bit, and also gives it a more finished appearance, making our hitch look like it was installed from the factory and is not an aftermarket accessory. On the bottom of our receiver, you'll find our rolled steel safety chain loops. What I like about these, we can use them from either the front, the side, or the back of our hitch making it easy for us to hook on our safety chains. They're also a fairly large size, so we shouldn't have any problems using most safety chains out there. This hitch features a 400 pound max gross tongue weight reading. That is the amount forcing down on the hitch and a 4,000 pound max gross trailer weight reading. That is the amount of the pulling force that your hitch will experience. It does support the use of weight distribution. However, those numbers do not change. So just keep that in mind if you're towing a trailer with the weight distribution setup. You'll want to consult with the owner's manual of your Ford Edge and not exceed the capabilities of the vehicle or the hitch itself. Now, what I really like about this hitch is the fact that it's concealed behind our fascia and has that J-pin stabilization device hole, which makes it an ideal hitch to use with bike racks. Now for a few measurements to better assist you in choosing any hitch mounted accessory you may need such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier, you're looking at about five inches from the center of the hitch pin hole to the rearmost part of the back bumper, and about 13 inches from the ground to the top of the two inch receiver opening. Now that we've gone over some features, we'll show you how to get it installed. In order to install our hitch, we're gonna to have to lower our exhaust. But before we do that, we're gonna use a strap to help hold our exhaust up so we don't damage it. We'll just wrap it around our lower control arms here. We have three exhaust hangers we're gonna remove. We have one on each side at the back. Spray it with some lubricant so it slides off easier. Use a pry bar, pry it off. Now we'll repeat the same process for our center hanger towards the front. Now in our heat shields above our muffler, we have two eight millimeter bolts in each frame rail. We'll remove these, pull our heat shield down. We'll repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, with our heat shields pulled down, I marked off according to the instructions the area that we need to trim out on both sides. Let's use a pair of 10 snips for that. All right, now our fascia support right here is a 5.5 millimeter screw right in the middle. Remove that screw. Grab your fascia support and tuck it on up like so. All right, now we're gonna fish wire our hardware into place. It's a mirror image on the other side of the vehicle. We're on the passenger side right now. We'll be using this oblong hole here, right below our exhaust hanger, and then this round hole here, closest to the bumper support. We'll do the oblong one first, stick our pull wire in, and run it towards the rear of the frame rail. We'll place on a block onto the wire and thread on a carriage bolt. Stick those inside our frame rail. And pull the bolt on down to the hole. And we'll move our pull wire. Now I'll go over the other hole Repeat the same process. Okay, 
And now we'll go to the other side of the vehicle and do the exact same thing. Okay, now with an extra set of hands, we'll raise our hitch up in position and secure it with our provided hardware. We have a conical tooth washer and a nut. The washer will go up with the teeth facing towards the hitch, followed by the nut. Okay, we'll use a three quarter inch socket and snug these nuts on down. All right, now that we have our hitch in place, we'll use it as a template to drill out our frame rail for the final hole. We'll use a small drill bit right in the center of the hole to make a pilot hole. Okay, with our pilot hole made, we'll enlarge it to our final size. Okay, now if our hole drilled out all the way, go for our fish wire, just like we did the other ones. And we'll repeat the same process on the other side. Place on our washer, then our nut. And we'll snug it down. And now we'll torque all of our hardware to the amount specified in the instructions. Okay, with all of our bolts torqued down and our hitch, we'll raise our exhaust back up. Okay, with our exhaust reinstalled, we'll take our strap down. And that completes our look at an installation of the Drawtight Class 3 Max Frame Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75992 on our 2014 Ford Edge. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.